Cabrera had really been struggling at, yeah. at the plate. What can a hit like that do for a young kid just to kind of get going a little bit? Yeah, I mean, he had a good at bat early in the game with the runners in scoring position where he smoked the ball, where Gordon made the play in the shift. He's still he's having competitive at bats up until even that last one. I thought he made a good adjustment. McGill's tough on lefties there with that up heater and breaking ball. And I think he got to that breaking ball a little bit with two strikes to kind of foul it, got him back to a pitch in the zone and just a good job of going with it. You know, he's you know, we love his poise and his makeup and he's not afraid and uh more more great defensive plays tonight. Had opportunity, obviously, late in the game, and we're having trouble kind of poking. It's safe to assume that you didn't have LeMahieu and you didn't have Stanton in any capacity. Yeah, in only a an emergency situation. And will you have them in game two? What's that? You won't have them in the second game either. No, we'll see. We'll see on 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 availability off the bench, but they will not be in the lineup. Who else, Joel? Aaron, do you imagine that in important situations, Judge will no longer be pitched to, and it will be up to the rest of your team to do something? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I think absolutely. I mean, try and get them in some spots where you know there's there's no other choice. But yeah, I think we're we're definitely seeing that. What does that? I mean, what does that mean for the rest of your lineup, especially when it is missing Stanton yeah. and LeMayu and Rizzo, et cetera? Do your job. You know, Glaber, Glaber really good at bats today. Obviously, the homer to tie it, a really good at bat where he worked the walk um, to put us in a great position the inning before. I thought he had a really good at bat when they intentionally walked Judge, where he went the other way uh, down the line. Cave made a decent play on him, but um, good at bats. We, we need that to happen. Who else? Meredith. Aaron, obviously not ideal when you have a second game to play and you go into extras and have to use a lot of your pitchers. Are, are you, you feel okay about going into game two, especially considering Cole is on the mound? Yeah, they're in the same position. We got Garrett going. We'll figure it out. Pete. Uh, along those same lines, do you have Clark Schmidt available out of the bullpen? Clark is available out of the pen, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Joel, did you have one more? Are you looking at potential IL stints for St Stanton and or LeMayu right now? Um, I don't think so on G. Uh, it is something we're talking still about with DJ. Last one, Max. What would you think of Peraza's first start? I thought he did a nice job. Uh, we didn't get that double play turned early. Um, but he equips himself well. Um, obviously, a few hits, you know. Um, so that was good to see. Get his first one out of the way with a good ringing double, kind of down the line there. So, um, yeah, I thought he, I thought he handled himself well. Um, almost dumped one in there, but with the outfield pulled in in that situation, um, didn't quite fall. But, um, you yeah, know, I, I, th I thought he did a good job. He'll be back in there tonight. A lot of that conversation obviously focusing on Aaron Judge for good reason. He hits his 55th home run, and then Jack gets two free passes. So, as Joel asked, I uh, think they're going to be seeing a lot of that, or he will. Bob, you and I have talked about this for several weeks. I've actually been surprised that teams have attacked Judge as much as they have. And now with the Yankee offense struggling and so many players out due to injury, Rizzo, Carpenter, LeMahieu, Stanton, you look at the fact that the Yankees fielded a lineup today that was Aaron Judge and several guys who were really AAA players until recently. So if you're Rocco Baldelli of the Twins or any manager going forward, why would you give Judge the opportunity to beat you? It's why Torres' home run was so important. It's why the at-bats you saw from Peraza today were so important. And then even Cabrera, although we talked about 0 for 25, I actually agree with Boone's assessment. You're 0 for 25, you're 0 for 25, but I do think he goes up there with confidence and poise. Derek Cheater used to say if he was 0 for his last 20 and Pedro Martinez was on the mound in that 21st at-bat, you've got to want that at-bat. I kind of think Cabrera has that same approach. And you have to figure we're going to see some of these younger guys in tonight's ball game moving forward because the, they mentioned Stanton, LeMahieu, Rizzo, all missing right now, that they feel they can make a real contribution. And as Aaron Boone said, in the absence of those guys, do your job. They need guys to fill those blanks right a few years back the Yankees lived off that motto next man up They're they're in a situation right now where it's next triple-a player ascending to the major leagues up they have been forced to use some of these players 
Guzman had a really rough Yankee debut 0 for 5 with four strikeouts in that double play that we detailed but that offense has to come from somewhere. I also think though Bob when you get this win you squeeze out this win you now exhale as a Yankee and you also say Garrett Cole it's all you in game two. They'll, they'll, they'll need some offense but as their ace yep. Garrett Cole needs to be the most important guy on the field in game two.